I get very fearful when, uh, again, like I said, um, Americans or Western uh, companies do shows about Africa or shows depicting African characters. I will say that every single person's accent, from the most part, in this little trailer that we watch, sounds like they are Nigerian. Those are Nigerian accents. I think it's dope because it just gives me like... It gives me Black Panther 1 vibes when, like, you know, they kind of played on that, like what Christine was saying. They played on that with Wakanda, where everybody thought it was this poor country and stereotype, blah, 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 blah. And next yeah. thing, it's like, oh, we're, we're te technologically advanced more than you guys think we are. And we can do shit. We sustain our own. We just hide it from you so you don't come fuck shit up. I was just very disappointed to see that, you know, the people in the country cannot watch a show that is about their country, even if it is the futuristic version of what the country could, could be. Um, I think it's very, 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 very disheartening. And Disney, you got to do a lot better. You have to figure out how to get this to the people who live in the country so that they can watch it and have their kids watch it and eventually make the country as great as it could be. Anyway, what's going on, people? It's your boy, Mackie O. <laughs> M. Yo, we are. <laughs> what do we do? And I'm here with my good brothers. We got... Damn, I was going to act as if John was here. I'm so sorry. We got the Black Kage, the Hook Kage, a.k.a. Salt and Pepper Crisp. And we also got Badman Forward, Badman Shawnee. Badman Forward, Badman. Oh, please. Shawnee. Badman Forward, Badman. Wake up. Badman Shawnee in the motherfucking building. And we are the Nerdy by Nature Boyos. <laughs> I can't hear nothing what you're saying, my dear brother, because I'm hearing all these drops. But anyway. Uh, hope y'all living well. Hope you're doing right. Welcome to another reaction video. Today we will be reacting to the Ijawa trailer. And if you haven't heard about Ijawa, we're going to find out by watching this trailer. But to give you a little synopsis, it's a story about futuristic Nigeria that Disney Plus is airing some point this year. I can't remember the date, but yeah, let's see how that trailer looking so we can see if this shit is a smash or a pass. Just making sure if Johnny, this nigga Shawnee said, put it on 1070-87P. Figure out like 20 characters of that. <laughs> From Disney Animation and the groundbreaking storytellers of Kugali. Happy birthday. Tola. What the fuck was Kugali? You want that story pet? It's great. Comes a Disney Plus limited series. What would you say if I asked you to go to the mainland? Set in a futuristic Nigeria. You want to see the real Lagos? Yes, let's go. Kind of fire, oh, like, like, to Lagos, like Panther vibes. Nigeria. Tolabu yeah. Daddy has done well for himself. And at least the accent. Sound like they're Nigeria. actually Nigerians. Which is my cool. daughter. She's your responsibility. Which one? Find her. That's what I always get really, really Pick scared of. And I'll talk more about that later. Some of these people are actually dangerous. I laugh in the face of danger. <laughs> I didn't hear you laugh. Oh. <laughs> Tola, Some of these people are dangerous. <laughs> That's just how my dad taught. <laughs> You know, my, 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 my little, was he, lizard gecko dude? He gives me um, Harry Potter vibes. See, that's Harry the Harry Potter vibes? Yeah. Sure. Oh, team. Go! My. <laughs> oh! Metal claw. Actually, oh, this shit drops soon. Cute. Okay. Yeah, it's it. Um, it comes it'll probably drop by the time we drop this shit. A April. No, it comes out the 24th of. February, the 28th of February, so at the end of Black History Month. Bro, tomorrow. Just tomorrow. 
Actually, well, you guys won't know it's tomorrow. By the time this trailer drops, it'll probably have already dropped. But anyway. Oh, it is 28th year, right? Let us, I'm going to go. Actually, let me, let me. Um, you, you kick it off. Just really, really. I'm going to kick off one part really quickly. And then I'll let everybody else talk. And then I'll say some other stuff at the end. Because I can, I will definitely go on a lot. Um, when it comes to doing African like shows when I when Amer when uh, for American audiences, I always get afraid when they do them because of how the accents are going to sound. Um, Disney has done a good job with you know Black Panther one, and even though people didn't really like it, I like Black Panther two as well. And I, I feel like the accents you you didn't like it or you did? No, I did. Oh, I like both of them. Okay. Um, but yeah, so I, I think and the accents, most of the accents were either like Zulu or South African accents, which is fine. Um, and I wasn't mad about how they sounded because and every, it, how they sounded and how they looked and, you know, different things. That was cool. But I just get very afraid when they do a accents because sometimes uh, they get people who may not be African to do a lot of these um accents a uh, perfect example is coming to america uh nobody in that movie was african which is fine well they are africans because they are black americans but they're not from like directly from the country african so they don't american, not like african african Afri yeah so they don't understand how to hit certain words and the certain tones in which you're supposed to certain speak volume the certain speed yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like everything just sounds over exaggerated, over exasperated. And I get very fearful when, uh, again, like I said, um, Americans or Western uh, companies do shows about Africa or shows depicting African characters. I will say that every single person's accent, for the most part, in this little trailer that we watched sounds like they are nigerian those are nigerian accents my dad has said you know this thing is very dangerous i've heard that from my dad time and time and time and time again so that's the one thing i do want to highlight i'm gonna i'm gonna get to my low lights later so i'm gonna let other people talk but i think the fact that they and i'll look up while people are talking i'll look up the cast and see who they casted for these particular roles um but the from what i hear the voice acting they sound african that's all i'm really happy about um what i'm gonna say is uh am i am i sound kind of crazy i don't know maybe i don't know but but i'm just glad that they're gonna i know then like like you said before you're gonna say you're gonna say what something against of what i'm gonna say but i'm just glad that they're putting a country of africa so americans know that africa is not a country and is a continent because you know some americans they don't know or like a, that's not a third you know world country I'm, I'm just glad that they're like no nigeria is a third world country don't get it twisted 100 percent, 100 percent. but what i'm what i'm, what I'm saying what he's saying i agree with yeah. What I'm saying is just I just I'm just glad that they're pointing it out like this country in Africa like Nigeria like maybe in the future they'll do something else like Ghana or something like that you know what I'm saying who knows but I just, I'm just glad that they're focusing on and not just saying Africa you know what I'm saying like I yeah. they're having like a focus like Lagos and Nigeria type shit you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. that's what I like and then that they're showing that technology is thriving there. Like just showing that those people well, as not with as the right resources, the those people with the yeah. right resources could get to a level. That, that's what I took from this whole show trailer thingy. Like I'm like seeing Nigerians go and flying cars and all this nonsense. A, a little lizard that has superpowers. I, I'm fucking with the vibe of with the right resources, this country could thrive. Type shit. That's all I. Uh, that's all I care about. To be honest, I agree. That's why I'm probably I, gonna watch it. Um, I'm definitely going to watch it. Um, my brother-in-law is Nigerian. My nephews are half Nigerian. So like, um, yeah, I'm watching this for sure. I actually, when I first saw it, I sent the link to my sister immediately and she called me like, yeah, I saw it. Like, we're going to watch it. So, um, they're excited for the representation. I think it's dope because it just gives me like, it gives me Black Panther one vibes when like, you know, they kind of played on that. Like what Christine was saying, they played on that with Wakanda where everybody thought it was this 
poor country and stereotype, blah, 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 blah. And next yeah. thing, it's like, oh, we're, we're technically, tech, technologically advanced more than you guys think we are. And we can do shit. We sustain our own. We just hide it from you so you don't come fuck shit up. You know, as right. that's what show. Oh, um, I so. so I fuck with a lot. I like the little lizardy. I was saying earlier, he reminds me of Perry the Pad. Perry the Platypus from Phineas and Ferb, and I love that show. So I'm fucking with this shit. Happy black. The black representation is dope. It's I, I'm here for this. This is this is my shit. Like I, I don't normally watch shows like this in that style, like a series, because it's I would argue it looks more kid. It's it obviously is kid friendly. It's more for kids. But, I'm watching it. Regardless. Yeah, more for kids. And I'm not. I normally won't run to it. Like oh, I'm gonna go watch it. Like no, I'm gonna go watch this. For I sure. might make my daughter watch this shit to be honest. I think yeah. I mean, I'm watching with Sasha. But... <laughs> right, I, before, I... before you go, Maggie. Before you go, Maggie. Guys, I am the Dominican man, but I have a Nigerian mother. Okay, which is Maggie's mom. She is my mother too. Okay, <laughs> okay. She is my yeah, mother too. And I'm gonna. I need to go get my Nigerian outfit so I can sit down. You know what I'm saying? Watch it the proper way. That's how we you should. Know? That's how we should came for the for watching this shit, right? No way! That would have been dope. It, these weirdos used to went to to go see Black Panther one and dashikis and full on African attires in the movie theater. You Fuck know, it's it. actually funny. Really quick before you start, um, right next right next door to my mom's house in Patterson, there's a shop called Gideon's Needle, and they actually do like African apparel, like custom custom apparel. Oh, like yeah. that shit is fire. Like no, yeah, that shit is expensive. And- <laughs> and, oh, yeah, 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 for sure. Like, but they cool as hell. Like, that shit expensive. They be cool. Like, my sister got they. They, they be. Them, they them cool. Be fire, dog. But that's what I'm saying. Like, the money's worth it, bro. And I'm supporting a black business. Hell yeah! Come on, that shit fire. It's worth it, right? But it's like, and no, again, I'm I, as a Nigerian. In Nigeria, it would make sense to get it over there because the probability of me wearing it is higher over there than over here. I'm wearing it for one event. And I'm probably never wearing it again. The outfits that we wore for my mom's uh, birthday party, I have not worn that shit since. And again, it was just in October, but the next time I probably wear is the next African event that I have to go to. That's probably the next time I'm wearing that shit. I mean, have my chance, though, because it's the way the the society is here, though, you know? No, that's what I'm saying. So, like, those clothes can get very, very expensive because they're supposed to be extravagant and all that other stuff. But um, to kind of pivot into the, because everyone's telling me before you go, before you go. So now I'm going to go. Listen, right? The, my biggest and probably my only problem and probably the biggest problem with this show is the fact that the country that this show is about is not able to see this. So if you do not know, uh, Disney Plus is not available in Nigeria. Um, and I think it's very interesting how Disney was able to green light a show, but not be able to allow the country to also watch the show. Um, and as someone that knows a little bit about how some of these companies work, um, I know that it's it takes two to tango so obviously they have to do parlays with the nigerian government and work out certain deals and all that other stuff but i feel like this kind of show will be able to bridge the gap even though yes we have the internet now so you know even though they did (laughs) the the president of nigeria one time banned twitter from the country for like a couple of months and then allowed it again but fire yeah huh fire fire (laughs) <laughs> they banned Twitter because they was talking shit about him on Twitter. So he said, Fire. "Nah, we're not doing that. <laughs> we're not doing that. That's not what we're doing over here." Main, main thing, I, I was just very disappointed to see that you know the people in the country cannot watch a show that is about their country, even if it is the futuristic version of what the country could, could be. Um, I think it's very, 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 very disheartening. And Disney, you got to do a lot better. You have to figure out how to get this to the people who live in the country so that they can watch it and have their kids watch it and eventually make the country as great as it could be. Nigeria is, um, I believe, one of the highest producing uh, countries in the world for oil, yet they cannot 
refine their oil. They have to ship out their oil to get it refined and then buy it back so that they can use it in their country, which is ridiculous. Um, so, yeah, this shit is it looks great. I will not be watching it until people in Nigeria can watch it. So I'm boycotting it. It looks tough. I'm happy that it looks amazing. I'm happy that the people who um, and I'm looking at the cast right now and everyone in the cast is of Yoruba descent, which is one of the tribes, one of the three big tribes in Nigeria. Uh, so it's amazing that, you know, they're able to uh, uh, work on the show. And I think the creators are obviously the creators also Nigerian as well from of Yoruba descent. Uh, but I will be boycotting this until people in nigeria can watch it legally like yes i know they can pirate it but i don't want them to pirate it make it free so yeah that's how i feel i appreciate them you know putting it on channel disney or whatever they call it nowadays but get get disney plus in the in the, in the continent that's all i'll say about and that with, and with that salute What's going on, nerdy fam? We want to thank you for watching our video today. We appreciate all the love and support and the views that we get. But if you want us to talk about a specific thing, let us know in the comments below. You can follow us on our YouTube at Nerdy by Nature TV. What else we got going on? We got the Spotify and Apple Podcast, the Nerdy by Nature Podcast. If you know you don't have time to watch the videos, you can listen to it on the go on your run, working out, X, Y, and Z. You know how it goes. And then you know we got our social handles. We follow us on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok at Nerdy by Nature TV. That's at Nerdy by Nature TV, all in one word. You know how it goes. Keep it nerdy. We love you and goodbye.